Streamline. We live? We are. We live? Are people here? I don't know if people are here. I'm working on uh, typing that tweet out a little bit better than last time. Yeah, yeah, go here. Well, I mean, the go here worked. It does it. It, it worked. Does it? You don't know that. But based on viewership, I can guesstimate. Yeah, maybe. Okay. If you say so. Oh, no, 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 no. I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. Hello, everybody. If you are here, if you're not here, then then Tyler screwed something up. I, I didn't screw anything up. I, I screw up, but it's on rare what occasions. A, what, a, <laughs> how, what is this title? Go live, episode two, live episode two, just all in caps. No dash, no line, no EP dot two. Go, no, keep it. No, you got to keep it. No, keep it. Keep all it right, that way. I'm keeping it, I guess. Keep it. Keep it. It's fine. You just said go live episode two, and I was just like, oh, all right. <laughs> I let thought me you just didn't type it out. Bellish it a little bit. I mean, I could have, but I was focused on the other stuff I was doing, like trying to send out this tweet. Okay. Well, I also contributed to the social game because I'm a responsible social media influencer. That's right. You heard it here first. I'm an influencer. I'm here to influence all of you, and everything that you know and love will be influenced by this guy. Am I a mod on this? Yes. Good. I took care of that today. Good, 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 good. See, look at this. Look at this beautifulness. You know what? The one post on dis uh, the distractible... No. I'm so sorry. <laughs> In fairness... Both times that has happened, uh, it has been on Tuesday. When I literally were... just came from Distractable. But do you know what the funniest thing on the uh, Go My Favorite Sports Team subreddit is? Is the one gripe that people had was that not only were the black bars there, but that my camera was one pixel oh. smaller on either end. <laughs> so if you go to the, the if you go to the Go My Favorite Sports Team subreddit, you'll see one of the top posts, which is like it's the only thing I can focus on. And as soon as I saw it, I made Tyler fix it before we got started, even though he was all like, "Oh, I don't know why we would do such a thing." And here we. That's go. not that's not how it went. I that's worked exactly on it. how it went. I worked on it after we finished the live stream last time because I was like, oh, now I was trying to understand what you meant by it being double wide. Lies and slander. And then I was like, no, the, the everything in the settings is fine. I'm like, oh, he means just no. the image. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> lies, lies, lies. Anyway, so welcome to... Wait, one of us is frozen? Oh, God. Oh, you're frozen. He's stone-faced Tyler more than he's ever been in his life. I can't believe this is happening. It didn't happen at all last time, so I don't know why it would start doing it again. Oh, you, you think that uh, the computing systems that we had would just be completely consistent every time? You would think. I, I want to put myself in, like, I'm going to change the lighting in. I want, like, You're just gonna I want like <laughs> complete <laughs> rear lighting. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just the, the glow. I know, yeah. <laughs> glow. No. Bah, people are blind. No, let me crank them up. Let me crank this up. I don't know. I haven't really found my vibe with uh, this new studio on my lighting, and these are really small. Very. <laughs> yeah, we need to no, we need to figure out the lighting. Didn't no, Ethan say he wanted to do the lighting in this room? He probably would help out. Like yeah. he'd probably be happy to help. Yeah, but that's now that's a bit better. Now I've got that ethereal glow. This is what we should have. This is good rim lighting, right? Right. Yeah. Does it look good. Does it look good. It looks good. Oh, is it still on normal latency? Uh, yeah, because we, for the, the caption reasons. Ah, uh, I, I see. I see. You know, that same thing that we realized last time? Mm -hmm. No, what are you talking about? That oh, you yeah, couldn't yeah, have yeah. the captions on. How many of you and... guys put a poll up? How many people use the closed captions and how helpful is it? Because there is a slight delay, but it's okay. If If people are down to clown with it, then that's all right with me. Which is all that really matters. So long as people are happy, I'm happy. Is this light bothering you? It's like shining too bright on you now. I mean, if I, as long as I don't look at it, it's fine. It gives you a little less, uh, um, <clears throat> like nightmare in the darkness. I mean, that's kind of good because um, after our stream, I had a friend message me and be like, "The lighting was driving me crazy," and I'm like, "What? That was artistic take, man." What do you mean dri driving crazy about what? It was it, just because we don't have enough lights to be able to do this. Does this drive you crazy, huh? Does this drive you crazy, whoever a mysterious friend is? No. His it's name's beautiful. Kevin. Kevin. Kevin, come on, Kevin. Come on. Come on. 
Come on. Anyway, I did the tweet game. And I, I just retweeted it. I just oh, did, did it. Okay. Yeah. You're on so, top of that. I just got it. Yeah. But anyway, thank you so much for joining for another. I know it's been a, just a little bit since we did the last one, but we've got a lot of episodes to get through before we get to uh, Tyler leaving for like a month straight. I, I'm not. It's not like a whole month. It's like sparingly off and on. Like I leave for TwitchCon um, mm -hmm. here in a couple days. I'll be there for the weekend. And then I go on a tour of Tennessee and Virginia to visit friends for birthdays and Halloween. Right. Okay. Of course. Likely story. How many people in chat believe that? Any of that? Is any of that? Say, there, no, there's no such thing as TwitchCon, especially since TwitchCon just murdered oh. half of their streamers. Yeah, 50%. In cold blood. Per, just exactly 50%. They Thanos snapped them out of existence, and now they are no longer there in any way, shape, or form. It's truly sad, an extreme tragedy, but one we must all get used to. Or something like that. I don't know. What happened? Why is my mom trying to FaceTime me? Mom, no. <laughs> you I'm should busy. just answer it. <laughs> all right, fine. Come on, Mom. Hey. Hi. How was going on? What? Well, I'm in the middle of uh, nothing. Nothing's happening. <laughs> oh, I don't know. What is the plan about the book? <laughs> <laughs> she didn't like your answer, Mark. Uh huh. No, I was, you hung up. Well, I'm more focused on getting the documentary done. I know. I'm a little busy. You know, I, I am quite overworked at the moment, so I can't exactly uh, do everything at once. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, what's so hard is it? It's just that easy. I, it's so simple. Yep. Mm -hmm. Of course, of course. But, but yeah, I got all the data. But the more important thing is hitting the deadline for getting the documentary out because remember how you pushed it later? That means I got less time to edit it. It's coming slowly but surely. Oh, it's just that, you know, it's easy editing. You don't know how much footage there is? Yep. 16 hours. 16 hours of footage. I am currently, I know I can do that. That I definitely can do. 100%. Uh, well, I'm currently live on stream, so have you been. Uh, so I can't say exactly when, but I know that everyone at home is waiting eagerly for when this documentary about uh, your father and Markiplier from North Korea is going to come out for everybody, and if they don't support it, they will be, you will be so sad. Why well, you want to tell them that you'll be upset? Do you want to say to their the people at home that you'll be upset? Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> tell them. Wait, hold on. What what is this about? This is with Tyler. See Tyler's over there. Zoom out a little bit. Oh, hi, Tyler. No, no, I got it. And then we work so hard. I mean, I work so hard. And also, Mark works hard. Ethan did also. Amy did. We all went to Korea and we did all the documentary thing going. We traveled all over <laughs> South Korea <laughs> to find the 
place where I was born, I was raised, and then the, my grandmother's farm, then TMG, you name it. We're just driving around. Uh, so the Mark, I wrote a book like two years ago. It took me that long. But anyway, the book itself is good for me. I don't know, Mark might not agree with me, but it's a good story. It's a real story. And Mark said, I want to make sure you're saying the truth. I want to see the place you're saying it is. And even, I want to go to the place you even drowned when you were two years old. So we went there. We find the place. So I was born and I was there. I was drowned. I was going to die. But miraculously, I was saved by an angel. Angel who happened to be passing by at that time, at that moment, and saved me from drowning and dying when I was two. My sister said, we went to talk to my sister who let me there, <coughs> near the water. You know, at a conveniently, she went to inside to go to the bathroom and letting me there. And we confront her, and she was so shameful. <laughs> she didn't even show her face. Can you imagine? Because she remembered. And Mark heard that. Heard that I was not just telling him. Really, I was going to die. And my sister was so shameful that she did what she did. <laughs> It's all there, and if you guys also, don't watch... Also, when I was 16, I met his father. You know, he was um, you know, officer who assigned to come to Korea. I was 16. Of course, he was a little older, you know, you know, that, you know. so anyway. But it should started? be emphasized that they didn't, they didn't start dating at that age. And it was no, no, it was no, just no, met her mating, met, met, met first Korea, and then came met, back later. And then four years later, we met again, and then the uh, things have started to happen. <laughs> you know what I mean? And the birth of Mark. The birth of me. The birth of Mark that I have to go to naturally to that 10 pound 3 ounces baby <sighs> it's all there now, since I was working at the labor and delivery as a nurse I was able to describe all oh, the pain as real as it can be so anybody wants to try go ahead and read that book before you want to try okay it's all in there it's all in there and the mark with our ups and down life. Oh, we start have to start from my father. You know, the market cry from no the title. Why? Because we are here in America enjoying our freedom. There was reason. It's because of my father and his parents making us decision during Korean War, 1950. When my father was only 16, he was in high school, junior high school. He himself and with his little older brother, they decide, you're going to go down to South Korea. Because if you are here in North Korea, you're going to be killed by those North Korean army. Go. Mom, go. you're spoiling the story. <laughs> you're spoiling it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> People got to pay good money for that story. <laughs> okay, all right. How in the world is Mark is here? It's a miracle. Yeah. In order for you to bear the fruit, sometimes you have to go through those agony, life and death, you know, with a little bit of luck, if you work hard, there's somewhere out there, they'll help you also, but, you know, so we see, there's a story, it's unbelievable, unbelievable, it's all true, and okay. Mark verified with okay. me, in all right. Korea. I verified it all. Okay, okay. Okay, all right, <laughs> we gotta go do our sport, this is the sport podcast. Okay. Do you like sports? Uh, you know me. I don't. Nah. I have no idea what 
<laughs> but can you give people a glowing recommendation to listen to Go My Favorite Sports Team? Oh, yeah. You do it with uh, your friend, right? Yeah, what's his name? Oh, Tyler. Tyler. Yeah, Tyler. He, he's a good guy. Support him. I, all right. Support Tyler. Okay? Okay, but can you give a glowing review of uh, Go My Favorite Sports Team? Review? Yeah, uh, just a recommendation. Tell people why it's <laughs> so important to listen or it's good for them. Oh, oh, oh. Why you want to learn? Yeah. You know, for example, if you watch some game, if you don't know rules, and you might be saying, ah, oh, it's not as fun. But if you know the rule, it's much fun. It can be much more engaging to, ha, ha, ha. You know why they are doing that, okay? Just like that. Just like that. Education. Oh. Education comes with, um, you know, and also, it's not only education. They make fun, especially marketing groupie. It's fun. It's not, it's not like a lecture. It's fun. They make fun. When you fun, people pay attention. So go ahead. Okay. Can you say, Mom, go, my favorite sports team. Go, my favorite sports team. Woo-hoo-hoo. Woo-hoo-hoo. Yeah. I should be a cheerleader, right? Woo-hoo-hoo. Yeah. Woo-hoo-hoo. 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 Woo-hoo-ho
<laughs> Why text when you yeah, can he just it was like in all caps. Thank you, Mark knew what I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> that I did. That I did. Uh, so it was a it was an informational thing, and I did have a moment where I was like, "Wow, I know a bit more about." Sports and sport-related things. And that's all thanks to this podcast, which is what this podcast is all about. It's for people that don't know sports or don't know how to get into sports to get into sports and start to know how to sport good. Yeah, and that way you can have, whether it's as simple as having a conversation with somebody who's talking about sports, understanding references and slang that exists within the U.S. language uh, and the English language and all the languages across the board use sports analogies throughout to create a emotional tie or a different connection or it's an abbreviated turn of phrase so mm -hmm. to speak absolutely yeah 100 um, and then uh, also then you can maybe watch a game and know what's going on yeah maybe you don't have to i still <clears throat> have not w sat down and been encouraged to watch a game see that's the thing about this podcast you don't necessarily turn around and you're like oh, i want to watch every game i haven't <laughs> <laughs> but I know at least what's going on when it's there, and I can start to understand what the deal is with people's infatuation with sports and understanding sports, and I think just bridging that gap can open up you to a world uh, that you may not have gotten used to before. I think all of us, well, maybe not all of us, have said at one point or another, oh, it's a sports ball, da, 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 da. It's like, well, you know, also I think Rocket League is the stupidest game out there, and I know a lot of people probably are mad at me about that. That's how I am to you, Rocket League, as you are when you say that to sports. So you can understand, like, the people who like sports, you know, they're not all airheads. They're not all jocks. And jocks are nerds anyways. We know that now for a fact. The switch was flipped long ago. Um, but when it comes down to knowing something, it means that you can make less fun of it. However, I will never know about Rocket League because I refuse to understand it because it is the dumbest game in the world. <clears throat> I mean, if you think about it in some semblance, there are people that don't know a lot about video games and say, oh, it's a video game, blah, 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 why does it matter? It's the mm -hmm. same thing, it, the, the the reverse situation of a lot of people doing that towards sports, you know? Mm -hmm. there's, I mean, it's the same thing when you talk about, like, D&D &D or LARPing or uh, theater. People treat, you know, it's, it's a group you're not outside of, or not within, and so if you don't understand it, it's like, oh, that's just that thing, and you kind of just cast it aside. Or people treat you like crap because they're from one group or another and they're, like, kicking you out of it. But that's a whole other Oh, topic. why would people do that? That doesn't make any sense at all. You know, something about people and focusing on differences instead of similarities. You know, stu stupid no, stuff. No, but people <laughs> are completely different. Every single one of us is so different than the other. And there is no common ground anywhere, especially among sport lovers and non-sport lovers. Or is there? Well, you're the expert. Oh, yeah, there's always a common ground. <laughs> oh, you I didn't so know it was sure. a question. I, you sound, you, I said it I'm, as a question. Hey, listen, I'm paying attention to the fact that the closed captioning poll is 51% yes and 49% no, and it keeps flipping back and forth a little bit, but that, it's around 50. That 50. is a considerable number of people, but it's funny because I'm looking at this right now, and it says closed captionings are not available. What? Did you turn on the settings? I did. I did. I promise I did. did I promise. You? Did you? Promise? It doesn't seem like you did, man. Because I can't see them. They're not available right do now. Do I have to stop the stream to do it? Well, it's not working for me. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just not working. It was It was there. I apologize. I'm sorry, everybody that was really looking forward to having those. It is no longer in existence. I know why. What? Apparently, you have to flip the switch on every time. You didn't hit reuse settings? I, I did. Hmm. Well? Because it's still on normal latency, but for whatever reason, the closed captions aren't on. Well, you better turn it off and, well. Do I just end stream and turn it on and then start stream? No. OBS. Stop streaming. We're back online. There's other people watching this that have a stake in this. Did you turn on closed captioning? No, because I have to hit end stream on the YouTube side to be able to edit the settings. Oh, well, then there's then there's nothing we can do. Apparently. There's nothing we could do, everybody. There's absolutely nothing that could be done. Tyler has ruined everything. This is part of the reason why we're all here collectively to make fun of Tyler. <laughs> I'm sad now. No, he's not. Don't trust that face. 
He's he, he, he's not hurt at all. Oh, no, no, that's not real. Uh, no, no, that's real. No, he's not. No, you get lay into him. Don't give him any. Don't give him any kind of leeway in this. He was the one who was like, I want to have normal latency, so I can't even talk to the people that are in YouTube chat live because it's such a delay. It's a thirty second latency. Did you know that? Thirty seconds from action to the stall for your close captions that aren't even there. Can you change it to low latency? Without stopping? Oh! Hey, this guy has not even streamed on YouTube enough to understand the inner machinations of the systems of which which he, we are broadcasting upon. Oh, I can't believe this. If you would be kind enough to allow us a moment of respite. Allow can, me to fix my deep, fix horrible mistakes. We can fix this. We can fix this for you. We can fix it for you, in fact... However, it would require us to stop the stream, which means that you, it would go dark for just a moment, and everything will be fine when it comes back. But darkness will claim you for a moment. You have to stay strong through the storm, and when we return, you will have magical words that process what we say in front of your face. I swear to you it will be all right, and we will return to you, but the darkness is coming to claim you now, and it will not last forever, but it will be panic-inducing. You might want to scream to the heavens. You might want to scream. Screaming will help. Okay. You tell me when. Why? Should, should I 